Cancer and welcome to Me Tarot Al. Today we're going to be doing your weekly reading and it's going to be from February 14th through the 21st. February. <laughs> Did I say that already? <laughs> All right Cancer, so let's shuffle your cards. I'm going to be pulling one mermaid card and some tarot cards here for your reading. Uh, so it's a general reading so Take what you can and what resonates with you, and, and just let the rest of it, um, you know, let the rest of it hang there. You don't need to. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it wasn't meant for you. Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope this helps uh, clarify or gives you some confirmation on your answer. I mean, for your question that you came here, that gives you, um, you know, gives you your answer or a good perspective of your answer or the outcome that you can achieve. Um, Alright, so let's cut your cards and begin here. Okay, your first card is discernment. You know, use your, you know, here's your, your card. This wants you to use your better judgment this week. Use your better judgment this week on, on things. You know, what what you see, what you see in the mirror, or what you see isn't always what there is. You know, there there may be something hiding behind, behind a cloak, behind a, behind something. Use your own discernment, your own judgment in, uh, in the way things are going to be playing out this week for you. She's, you know, the water's being reflective here. She's looking down. She was looking down in the water, getting the reflection. But she's like, wait a minute, and she's turning around. You know, she's turning around and like, you know, that that doesn't seem right. So you use your own judgment this week. Use your own judgment on on things that you see. You know? It always isn't what it seems to be. In other words, you know. Alright, now shuffle these up and we'll start your reading here. Okay, cut the cards and begin. Alright, so the first card you have right here is representing you right now. It's showing you sitting under a tree. Um, got your arms and your legs crossed. You have all the you have three cups down. You have some you have some uh, choices. Or you have, you're owning something down here, but you it's showing that there's another cup coming out here. Someone is coming forward and trying to help you with your decisions because you, you you're acting as though um, in this this is portraying you as you're just sitting there like you do you don't believe you don't have faith in yourself you're not believing in yourself um, there's something. There's something that's uh, that's holding you back from moving forward. Something in, there's something here holding you back, keeping you moving from forward. People are coming forward to you, trying to uh, give you perhaps some advice, but you're just pouting underneath a tree, like um, well, I'm sorry, this one gang, you're acting kind of childish. That's what I'm. This is what I'm. This is what I'm feeling here, on this, with this card right this moment is, feeling you're being kind of childish. You're you're, you're not wanting to accept help. Um, or you don't you don't want to see the other you don't want to see the other side of the story. In other words, you're just sitting here, under a tree, not wanting to listen or get other people's perspectives of your situation or whatever's going on. Um, and then you have the strength card. Now the strength card is coming in here. You know, it, it, and the strength card is coming in and 
Uh, so there, there could be an older, could be an older person uh, coming into you, wanting to give you the strength. Wants to come in, give you strength. Wants to tame, wants to tame your heart a little bit. Um, you know, I mean, because here you, you could be just, you could, there could have been a situation going on as well here where you're just mad at the world. You're sitting under that tree, you're mad at a world. You're mad at the world. So that is kind of childish in a way, in a sense too. And here, here comes somebody here that wants. Wants to tame your anger. Wants to tame your anger. Wants to help give you the strength and, and their blessings. And they want to be gentle. They know how to work with you. They want to. They're bringing their gentleness and their knowledge into you. Their purity. They want to give you purity, but they're doing it in a creative way. Um, the orange is all about creativity, and of course, the white is about um, purity. So there, there is someone that is trying to reach forward to you. To give you their their knowledge and their strength in a comforting way, and that's what exactly what's going on again here with this cup. Here, here this person is again. This was in your uh, recent past, and now here this person is still coming forward to you. They're still coming towards you and wants to give you advice. Wants to get you out of this slump. Wants to get you out of this slump that you're in. And um, you're having. A, you know, this discernment card here. And here it just shows that um, in the near future here it's showing um, that the waters were rough the waters were rough and they're they're calming now and this could be you know this could be this older person here that's representing the strength. Here's the strength and the creativity. You see how she's this person is dressed in yellow and orange. It's all about creativity and and uh, and light and love. And then, uh, you know, here here you're sitting with, uh, here you're sitting under the tree, and now you're sitting you're sitting here beside her in this in this ship here. You're sailing you're sailing across. You now there's the rough waters on this side, nice calms on this side. You have all these swords that are stuck down in the stuck down in the boat, which which is if you pull those swords out, of course, you're going to sink. You're going to go down further. So this is, you know, this boat is, will sink and you'll, you know, it'll go down underneath the water, which is going to cause turbulence. But, um, so you want to keep the, you want to keep those swords in. You want to keep those swords in this boat. You don't want to rock the boat and tip it over or anything. So this is just showing that, you, you know, you've been stabbed a little bit by whatever... You know, whatever this situation is here that has put you in this type of uh, put you in this type of mood, want being lonely, sitting under a tree, being childish, or not accepting help from others. But um, you know, um, but here now, now you're sitting here and you're you're you know, you know, you you must have took, taken some advice. You must have took some advice because, like I said, don't pull these swords out. Don't, don't take all this creativity and this nurturing that this person over here gave to you. They're si they're still by your side, okay? They're still by your side, and, and you are, you know, you you are start you are. I mean, here is a, like a little child here, sitting next to her. So, the swords are just showing you that if you stay on this path and you listen and you go ahead and you accept you accept the help. Um, that you are going to grow and you're going to be traveling. You're going to be going on a new journey. A new journey is going to begin here. So they're in a boat. They're, roar, they're you know, rowing towards the land here on new beginnings. So there is going to be a new, there is going to be a new, uh, a new start if you just take the strength and the love from others or from this here person that's giving you and has all this power and all this strength. Um, you know, and and just go for it, you know. Because, you know, it's this discernment here, you know, not everything that you see in the reflections of the water is actually how it is. You gotta turn, you gotta look. You now you have to use your own judgment, of course, but you need you need to look at other you can't just be staring down. You just can't be staring down into the pool. You know, you can't be just staring down the pool. You have to raise your head up some. And give people a give people a chance 
and uh, have some faith have some faith in others as well. Um, yeah, and, and you'll just be you know you'll, you'll be sailing off. You'll be growing. You'll be cut. You'll be coming out of the slump, and, and you'll be moving on. You're going to be moving on from it. So that's your reading, and uh, you have a great day. Hope to see you again. Bye.